you guess what today's video is all about? If you guess Mardi Gras, honey, one thing you have guessed correct. It is officially Mardi Gras season here in Louisiana, and I'll be attending my first ever parade, the Zulu Parade. And that led me to think, hmm, if I'm going to my first ever parade for Mardi Gras, why don't I decorate for Mardi Gras? So, that's what I'll be doing today, decorating for Mardi Gras. So, let the good times roll! Throw me some beads, Miss Dollar! So, that's what I'll be doing today, a DIY on a tool, temporary Mardi Gras ball. So, if you want to see how I've done that, then stay tuned for more. Okay, you guys, here are the items that I'll be using to make my Mardi Gras tool temporary ball. Here I have some Mardi Gras decorations, I have some masks, some Mardi Gras coins, and Mardi Gras beads. You're also going to need a pair of scissors, hot glue gun, a foam ball, a decorative pot, two spools of tool, straight pins, foam to put in the bottom of your pot, and a wood dial. Okay, you guys, I want to show you how I get my tool cut. Here you see I have some, some that's already pre-cut here. So how I do this is I usually take a small book. In this case, I'm going to use this notepad today. And I'm going to place it onto the tool. And I'm going to begin to wrap it in the tool. Now I'm only going to do it a few times here for demonstration purposes only, but you want to keep going and wrap a lot at a time because you're going to use this whole uh, spool of tool. So this makes it quick and easy for you to uh, get all your tool cut and you're just going to go across and cut it off. And then you're going to want to make sure that uh, you have a good opening to get your scissors down in. So you want to go through and smooth all the pieces out and make a nice opening for you to get your scissors in. And then you're going to uh, kind of open this up and then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to run down the bottom of this notepad and then you're going to go along the top and I'm having trouble here because I wrapped it a little too tight so I'm just going to open it up and cut across the top and these cuts doesn't have to be perfect you guys because uh, once you get it in a ball, you can't tell. And if you can, you can just give it a little trim once you have, you know, placed it on your ball. And there you have it, an easy way to uh, pre-cut your tool to make it go faster. Okay, you guys, the next step uh, after I got everything glued together, uh, I'm taking Mardi Gras beads and I cut this one so it'll be a long, you know, strand. I just cut them in half and I'm going to put a dab of glue here and then I'm going to wrap the Mardi Gras bead around the dial. So, put a dab of glue. And I'm going to stick my bead on and I'm going to kind of hold it and 
then I'm going to wrap it. Just like so. Super easy. Okay, I'm going to push them down so the wood doesn't show too much. To wrap this on down so I'm gonna finish going uh, more beads on and I'll come back and I'll show you how that looks when it's all done okay you guys I'm done gluing the Mardi Gras beads to the wood to the wood dial um, and this is how it turned out let me see can I zoom in a little for you a little closer look so as you can see here we have gold purple green gold purple uh, so our next step is to pin our our tool to the uh, ball so that's coming up next okay you guys so our next step is to get the tool onto the ball and I'm going to show you how I uh, do that so I'll take one color and I'll scrunch it up Take the green one and I just stack that on top of the purple one. And you just want to scrunch it down. And after you get it all scrunched down, you're gonna give it a twist. One twist. And then you're gonna take your pin and you're gonna stick it through where you twist it. So it'll be like that. Then you're going to take this and push it into your uh, ball. And I'm going to show you how that looks coming up next. Okay, you guys, after you twist your tool together and you stick your pin through, you want to stick your first uh, set in. So what I like to do is start at the very top here. So I'll just push this down like that and that's your first piece and then I like to go on the sides of the first piece so my next one I'm going to put in right next to this one Just like that. Then I'm gonna come on the other side and do a third one. Just like that. Now I'm going to continue to go down this way on the ball, and then I'm gonna go down the front, and then I'm gonna kind of fill in the sides. Uh, it, uh, where the ball is there. So I'm going to continue to do that and I'll be back uh, halfway through and show you how it looks. Okay, you guys, here it is. Like I said, I uh, started in the middle, then I worked my way down the sides of the ball. Uh, so I wanted to stop and show you how that looked. So now I'm going to uh, go in a row down the front of the ball here and also on the other side, on the back side of the ball. And I'll do that and I'll be back and show you how that looks. Okay, you guys, here's a look at it uh, with the tool down the front of the ball. Uh, like I said, I will go in, I'm going to go in and I'm going to fill the sides in here and I'll be done, uh, but I have to stop here and cut some more of the tool. I have completely ran out, and I'm glad that I bought backups. So I'm gonna have to open my backups and cut me some more some more tool, and I'll be back to show you the end result of how the ball looks completed with all the tool on it, and then we'll move on from there. Okay, you guys, here it is with all the tool on it. Um, so let me give it a spin so you can see the whole thing. Mm. 
Now you just wanna go through and fluff the tool back up from where you were holding on to it while you were placing your tool on it can get a little flat from touching it so you want to go back through and fluff it up and I see here at the bottom I don't know if you can tell here but it needed a little trim so I'm gonna take my scissors and trim the bottom give it a little haircut and then I'm going to uh, put some more Mardi Gras decorations on it and I'll be back to show you the end result Okay, you guys, here's the end result. I hope you love it because I do. The three masks that I had, I took them and I hot glued them to the tool, which was a task because hot glue doesn't like to stick to tool. So, lesson learned. Next time I'll try something different, maybe a, a plain glue, a super glue, or something like that because hot glue does not like to stick to tool. But I finally worked it out and I got them to stick. Uh, so the larger mask I took and I glued it to the front and I love this one because it has bells on it and the two smaller ones I glued to the side. Here's the green one and here is the purple one. I love the purple one. In case you didn't know, purple is my favorite color so I really, really, really love this one and I love how it turned out. And then the back is just plain. No one's going to see the back. I just left this plain in the back. And there's the green one again. And the one that's in the front. And the purple one. So you guys, that concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Uh, check back for more upcoming uh, videos on my Mardi Gras decorations. And maybe I'll take you guys along with me when I go to the parade, maybe a little vlogging. I'm not sure, but hey, check back. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Thumbs up this video. Leave me a comment below. Have you been to Mardi Gras? If so, what parade did you attend? Did you have fun? So let me know down below in the comments. Also remember to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. And remember guys to always show your style. Take care until next time. Bye-bye.